What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be reviewing the Toy World Crank, otherwise known as Cup. Uh, I, I'm actually I'm on a roll here with Toy World. I, I don't know why I keep buying these Toy World figures, but um, I, I don't know. They're interesting. They're, they're not quite G1 accurate, but there's something cool about them. So I had really good luck with the Toy World Coolsville. I thought it was a really good figure. I know some people are having issues with transformation. There are some quality issues. Um, it's not perfect. But I had a good copy. I like what I got. So I'm happy with it. Um, but for whatever reason, um, people aren't getting good versions. Um, anyway, here we have Total Crank. It's got a nice picture image of a uh, uh, crank on the front here. Uh, just toy world on the side. And then the picture of the mountains and the arc. Same box, similar box that we got with... Uh, the Coolsville figure and inside packaged very similar to the other again I, I appreciate packaging like this uh, they gave you stickers for some reason and also for some reason you've got a sticker for a space racer uh, that sounds like a <laughs> error made by the manufacturer just kind of trying to get these things out the door that worries me a little bit. You know, I'm not sure the quality on this guy. Uh, it, it seems like they were cranking these masterpiece figures out just way too quickly. Um, I was able to get them from uh, eBay, China, pretty pretty quick. Um, but yeah, you do have a Traders Collectors card here, and then you got a sticker for Crank, and then for some bizarre reason a sticker for Space Racer. Don't tell me. Don't ask me why. I don't know why we have that. Then you do get the nice styrofoam packing. I like this is a, a good quality. I like this better than the plastic uh, shell because it just it, it's a little bit more protective of the figure. So here we have the gun. This out here, nice and painted. That's nice. Here you've got the little cigar pieces and what looks like screw hole covers there. And here you got the alternate face. Just pretty much a dark gunmetal gray. And finally you've got the figure here. We'll get this out. And that's pretty much it, what's in the box. And here we have the Toy World Crank out of his packaging. Um, it looks like he needs a little bit of cleaning up. Alright guys, we got this uh, out of the package. And okay, I'm a little, I'm a little worried. <laughs> so... <sighs> It's a little loose in some joints. Um, by the way, here are the stickers that you got. Here's a crank, and for some reason, Space Racer. And then you've got uh, the Crank's card, Trader's card, and also his uh, stats there. So that's not bad. That's that's pretty cool. Um, and you also have some screw hole cover that you believe are going to be used right there on the side. That's pretty much the only place I can see. So you got that, and then you also have the little little cigars. We'll get that out of here. I'm a little confused. Why don't they put the screw hole covers in? Why give it to you? Why not just put it in? Is it saving that much effort? I mean, they had to put it in a little baggie. Why not just put it into the figure? Anyways, you do get two little cigars here. They look really tiny, first of all. Um, they look exactly the same. One is short, one is long. And I don't... I don't see a way to put it into his mouth, so... Uh, yeah. I don't know how this goes in here. Maybe it only goes into his, uh... His other mouth, but you've got two pieces, two cigar pieces here. They just, they don't fit into this existing face. No. Let's, let's take a quick look at the figure first before we get into the accessories. So, um, it's, it's not bad, but uh, when I first took it out of the box, it was kind of wobbly and weight shaky. Um, some things fixed it. So, for example, it came with this just sort of hanging down like that. Well, you're supposed to fold it up, it tabs into the bottom there, and then it tabs into the top there. And the whole piece is supposed to tab on like here, but... You can kind of tell, and then this arm is one of the other problems, but it doesn't really go together or like t 
tab in anywhere. It just kind of sits there. So, I don't know. It seemed like they cut a corner there. And they didn't need to, but they did. Uh, and then these arms are the other other area of uh, problem. Uh, they're, they're real loose here on this joint. You know, you can fold them out like this and get them out on the joint like that. But they're still kind of kind of loose. So I'm not really sure how they're supposed to be. You can put them in like that. And then you can take this little back flap here and stick it in. And that kind of holds it together a little bit better. So it doesn't flop around all over the place, but I don't think you were, you were supposed to do that. So that's one of the little disappointing things with this figure is uh, not really the best quality, I guess is the, is the word, you know, it's just, it just seems a little, a little unfinished. Um, the feet are okay, but, but this is really annoying. There, there's a joint at the hip that just kind of loose so you can easily sort of fold it this way which I don't think it was meant to fold that way you could fold it like that instead but you can kind of fold it like that and it, it just easily sort of falls apart so you gotta you gotta just pose it well and he's and don't get me wrong he's posable but it's just a little flimsy a little floppy for, for my taste he also doesn't remind me of Cup, to be honest. He looks more like, uh, he's a little skinny for a Cup figure. Yeah, see, this is a problem. That's not gonna, that's not gonna hold up. It's not good. His knee, knee cap kind of pops out, too. Hmm, so I'm a little disappointed here with the, with the quality. Again, Everything, everything supposed to tab together, but doesn't really hold. Hopefully, his, ro his vehicle mode is a little bit better. Robo bones a little dis underwhelming here. Um, things just don't want to stay together as well you as you'd expect. Things kind of move out of the way when you don't want it to, especially these kneecaps. You know, he's got this. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. All right, guys. Well, Toy World, maybe you're you're letting me down here. I might uh, I might have to cancel my other Toy World orders here. Man, Coolsville was so good. Why, why did they Why did they skimp on the quality? They must have been putting too many figures out. That's gonna be a bummer for a lot of people. Well, anyway. Let's see how he looks with his uh, gun here. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, his hand is just like the uh, Coolsville. He's got the double. Oh my gosh. He's got the two hinges here for the fingers and then the thumb is on a separate ball joint. The weapon just sort of pegs in. You don't even need to use the hands, but you go. Actually, that looks good, but again, freaking loose arm. What the hell? What the hell is that? That's shit. I'm sorry. That's that's bad quality there. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't do that. The arm should be able to hold up its own weight. I wonder if the if tightening the screw will do that. Let's. Oh, jeez. That is not good at all. Uh, let's get a screwdriver and see if we can fix this thing. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, sorry about all the cuts. We um, I lost camera battery and actually I wasn't feeling well, so I'm doing this review kind of over two days here. So apologize for the uh, cut cut video here, but. Um, you know, I took a look at the upcoming Toy World figures and I'm a little bit worried that they're trying to produce too much and they're cutting the quality. Um, but this guy's okay. He's not horrible. I mean, you can kind of tighten his joints, but this is this is sort of inexcusable for a Masterpiece figure. 
you expect this kind of thing on a on a Hasbro, you know, like a Legends class or something like that. But masterpiece, you should not. It should not be like this. Um, but in terms of uh, articulation here, we do have the head on a ball joint, so you get full 360, uh, plenty of up, plenty, a little bit of down. You can actually rotate it forward, and you can get a little, lot more down there. You can get them up kind of pretty high. So plenty, plenty of articulation there. The shoulder bits do articulate, so if you wanted to do some kind of weird pose, you could. Um, you can lift those up. Now the, the shoulders are the joints that I'm not very happy with. Um, I th I thought maybe you pull this out and it would like lock into place somehow, but it doesn't do that. You know, it's really meant to just stick back in there. And there's no like, there's nothing to hold it in there. It just sort of sits. So you do have a, a butterfly joint there and you also have full rotation and... Let's see, does it, does it raise up? Yeah, it, it raises up, but it's really tight. It, it's actually kind of worrisome. Are you gonna break the thing? So lots of lots of movement. It's just not the best joint. A uh, nice bicep swivel. You've got a double jointed uh, elbow. You do have the rotation at the wrist here. Um, you also get the movement of the thumb, just like our uh, the figure we got with um, Coolsville. You got the two fingers pinned. And then you got the thumb on an individual uh, joint, so he's got some good movement. It's just this this kills the kind of the whole thing. Now I think you can make it better by pushing that in, and that kind of locks it a little bit, it gives it a little bit more stability. Um, but don't think it was that's part of the transformation. I don't think you're supposed to do that, um, but we'll do that just for the sake of uh, sake of argument here and make it try to make it better. Um, so that's about it for the arms. You do have a nice rotation at the waist here in the right spot. Uh, the legs do have the full, but but it comes separated from this here. That, and that's kind of stupid, but you can get the whole thing rotated forward. It's just you got to kind of move the thing together. Uh, you also get the full splits. So plenty of rotation there. A nice uh, swivel at the uh, hip there. Uh, a double jointed knee, which was probably part probably of transformation, not really needed. Um, well, when you say double jointed, I mean it bends both directions, but it goes past 90 degrees there. It's kind of a weird knee joint, but it gives you some rotation there. Um, at the ankle, you've got an ankle rocker and an ankle pivot. So plenty of mo mo motion there. You can actually take his whole foot and bring it all the way up to there. So plenty of movement there. It's on a ball joint and it's it's that whole thing rotates probably for transformation. So so plenty of movement, just um, not executed in terms of the tightness and the uh, sturdiness. It's not that well done. Uh, the knee caps sort of hide away and they're hard to get out. There you go. Um, uh, that's basically for tra for uh, articulation. I mean, it did come with these two uh, screw hole covers here that you can put in. I guess I will put them in. Looks like they just press in. I'm not even sure why. Why didn't you just put them in? You know, unless somebody's gonna take this figure apart. Yeah, once you get them in there, it's probably it's probably pretty tough to get them out once you get them in there, so you just have to be committed. Um, but other than that, um, this is not bad in terms of the articulation. You got pretty good articulation. It's just the looseness of the joint is what sort of it detracts from the figure, and and there's no way to remedy it. You know, you can't can't seem to get anything to lock in here, especially in the arms, which is where it needs it the most. Um, so that's pretty much it for the 
Obama. Now we did cover the alternate face here. Uh, the only other accessory is his cigar, other cigar, which is exactly the same. It's just, I think, a second one in case you lose this one. Um, we also came with a scan piece like this, which is actually really nice. And I also got one with another Toy World figure that we're going to review soon. And you can kind of put it together, and there's little clips to make it stay together. And then you can use it as a display, which is pretty nice. I, I like that they they have that. Um, I don't think the figure mounts to the uh, to the base at all, but still, it's a, it's a pretty cool little feature that they're including with these. Now, that sort of tells me that <laughs> These che figures are kind of cheap, but they're able to include additional parts like this giant piece of plastic um, when you ship. So, I don't know, it seems like... seems like they skimped on the figure when they should have... You know, if the money spent on this would have been spent on this figure, I think it would have been happier if they had spent on the figure. Um, but it's nice that they include these. If I get enough of them, I'll, maybe I'll build a little stage for uh, shooting these videos. Um, but that's really it for Robomata. You know, it does have some nice paint detail on this guy. Um, kind of all over on the knees here. Uh, in vehicle mode, we'll see these, but there's some translucent plastic. A little bit of blue paint here on the back. Uh, and again, this is not uh, G1 style. This is an IDW style uh, cup. So you have to know that going in. This is not going to be G1 style. Uh, you do have a little bit of styling there, but I think that becomes the cockpit later. Um, a tiny bit of uh, paint here and there, a little blue paint. It does have translucent uh, blue eyes, which I don't care for. I wish it was painted. Uh, again, you got another translucent piece of yellow plastic here and here, which is also for uh, vehicle mode. Um, so a little bit of little bit of paint on this guy. So it's not too bad in terms of paint, but the rest of it, all the plastic, is uh, not painted. And the gun again, you have a little bit of paint. Uh, one thing we forgot to do is compare him with his compadre here, um, Hot Rod. So obviously this is the Takara figure here. Um, they stand pretty much the same height in terms of uh, robot mode. They're, they're pretty much the same same height. Probably Cup is a little bit taller, um, which makes sense. And they do look good together. I think they're actually a good pair. But... I don't know, they're, they're definitely not the same style, you know, this is more cartoon, G1 cartoon accurate, and this is more IDW, so they're not exactly, you know, they don't go together exactly, but they're good enough to go together on the shelf. Anyway, we'll get this uh, guy transformed into vehicle mode, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back from transforming. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get this guy transformed. Uh, there's a couple of weird things. So first, these uh, these just sort of peg in right there. There's a little notch. So it's not that secure. So you end up pushing it down past where it's supposed to go. And then it rubs the wheel. So you got to you gotta make sure it's locked into that little, little pin. And then the, the wheel will spin freely on both sides. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is, um, I had a little bit of a QC issue here. This tire was, uh, I mean, you can actually see it in there. See how it's got a little bit of missing material, and it's got a little bit of extra material on the other side. So, it wasn't quite even, and I had to cut a little bit of the rubber off to make it all fit together. And then just fitment in general, it's 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 not perfect, but um, it, does, it does roll, sort of. Let's see. There you go. So it does roll, and <coughs> you can't fit the, um, the gun into the end. I actually wish it, it mounted in the middle somewhere. It doesn't. I mean, you can mount it either way, either side, but in the middle. Um, I think this guy is definitely better in vehicle mode than he is in robot mode. He doesn't really shine in, in, in robot mode. He's a little bit nicer. Um, by the way, the canopy does not open. That's just how it is. Um, we saw a little bit of detail 
in robot mode, which I thought would show up in vehicle mode, but kind of just disappeared <laughs> into the back here. So that was more a design cue for um, robot mode. But anyway, and there's some nice painted pieces here. There's some black and some gray, a little bit of blue here on the side, um, on the side as well. Uh, the translucent yellow on the back, uh, a little bit of painted lights here, and then you got the translucent on the front. So it, it's a good looking vehicle mode. I, I like the look of it. It's just, um, I don't know, something about it, the, the quality level is where this thing is just short of being a good figure. It, it looks nice. Um, and, and all the toy world, these figures are, are look, look good. Um, but it, it almost seems like the designers were like in the middle of making it and uh, and the boss came in and said okay guys time to make the next figure and they're like well we haven't finished this one yet we're still making it and he's like too bad and then they ran out of time and had to move on to the next figure that's kind of what it feels like it's like they, they just didn't finish um, Coolsville didn't feel that way that felt pretty finished that felt like a, a final product um, this doesn't have a lot of, any die cast on it either it's all Plastic? I don't, I don't feel any die cast anyway. Uh, sorry, this is die cast. This one piece here in the front. So it's a little bit weighted in the front. Um, in robot mode, this is the chest. So, I don't know. I, I usually prefer to have the weight in the feet rather than in the chest. But here the die cast is in the, in the chest. But um, it, it, it does feel a little bit... A little bit low in quality, but I, I kind of like the vehicle mode. I almost think I would keep this on my shelf like this. Uh, I'll probably hold on to this until something better comes along. Because um, I don't know if if Takara is going to make one of these. Yeah, this is still not perfect. This wheel here, you can you can see the tire there is not quite right. But all the wheels spin okay. It's just not perfectly flat to the ground. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little bit cockeyed. From the front, it's pretty fine. And the clearance is pretty close. I mean, the tire and the and the bottom of this blue piece right here are pretty close to the ground. So. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, we, we have a couple more Toy World figures coming. Um, I'm a little disappointed with this guy. I'm hoping the other ones aren't don't have uh, poor quality. This one does seem a little bit lower quality than what we were getting before. So hopefully they they um, step up the game a little bit here. Um, but that's it for this review. Um, I'll be reviewing the Toy World's uh, Sea Spray next, or I think they call it Wave Wave Breaker, whatever his name is, Wave Break. Um, and that's it for this time. Please uh, leave me any comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.